Chapter 711, Is This a Horror Movie? The sun was setting gradually, the aroma of roasted fish permeated the air around the bank of the lake. A few golden griffin knights pulled out the drowning big white deer from the lake. When they returned to the shop, it was very late. Dot. Mercenaries such as Big Sword Crete were enjoying the attention from the city's aristocrats and the civilians. Crete, can you tell us where the talking deer came from? Crete, how come there were so many elves a moment ago? I heard some servants talking about something named the Avengers and a battle against an evil god, my goodness, are they gathering together to deal with an evil god? Some noble ladies who liked reading fantasy novels about knights sent servants to ask about the movie. Obviously, the outing of the large group of elves and orcs with the talking big white deer caused a great disturbance in the whole city. In this empire, People could also do other stuff besides learning combat techniques or practicing magic spells. The members with moderate talents in the big families would be sent to learn how to manage the family business. These types of fantasy stories circulating in the Nora continent were quite popular among aristocrats, including the noble ladies who were just mentioned. Of course, the people who were most eager about it were the peace loving elves. Oh, right. Can you tell us about? Um, the Avengers that you were talking about? The orcs asked while they walked back to their inn, that's a trailer of a new movie in the shop. The elves happily introduced the orcs to the movie, it's a story about an extremely horrifying evil god trying to rule humans. Dot. On the other side dash. Mr. Adolf, do you think that there's really an evil god who is trying to rule the humans in the Avengers? Dwarf Elder Sork asked while they walked to a street in the distance. I heard from the elves who have watched the trailer that the evil god is extremely scary, I think that the elves would never lie. Adolf said gravely, oh, then, it will be a horror movie. The dwarf Elder sighed. It's said that people can feel the great power of that evil god by watching the trailer, and it's a level of power that we can never withstand. Bam, bam. Bam. It was midnight, and Elder Sewell was still awake when she heard someone knocking on her door. Elder, are you asleep? Outside the door, elf girl Salah asks in a low voice, May I enter? Coming. A small head poked in. Elder, I can't sleep. Do you think there is really such an evil god? That would turn us to ashes with one wave of his hand? After all, in the legends, such existences were all powerful and capable of many great deeds. Dot. The morning of the next day dash. Today was the day that the Avengers would be released. Shakily, the elves, dwarves, and orcs sat before their computers with curiosity for the unknown. Are we really going to watch this extremely scary horror movie? An orc asked with a shiver. We orcs are the bravest beings. Another orc said shakily, if the elves dare to watch it, why can't we? I heard that the cute little white deer of the demon clan is also brave enough to watch it. Another orc said loudly, we brave orcs surely are not frightened. They all activated the movie and began to watch the Avengers which seemed to be a super horror movie. After hearing the exaggerated descriptions from the elves, they had to encourage themselves for the movie. Meanwhile, others such as Dwarf Elder Sork and Elf Elder Sewell had also begun watching the movie. In fact, many elves even boarded Mr. Fang's tour bus. So many people. We should be fine. Right? Some elves were still uneasy, we elves are the bravest beings and are not afraid of this evil god. Ha, huh, yeah. Salah and other elf girls dashed on to Mr. Fang's tour bus with battle shouts as if they were trying to say. We elves are fearless. Some customers from the old shops were also on Mr. Fang's tour bus, including Sudanji, members of the Heaven Defying Online Games Guild, and students of Heavenly Academy. Although they had seen these elves and orcs yesterday, they still stared at the latter in amazement. Seeing the elves who had pointy ears and orcs who had lion heads or tiger heads. Demonic woman Ning Pai suddenly felt like she looked quite normal compared with these people. Soon, the movie began. The Tesseract has awakened. 
before the viewers was a mass of icy blue flames wrapped by a square crystal cube, even though they were looking at it from the side, the viewers vaguely felt the deep and horrifying energy inside it, the gloomy and evil voice slowly sounded from the darkness, a human world, they would wield its power, but our ally knows its workings as they never will, he is ready to lead, and our force, our Chaitori, will follow. In the gloomy dark space, countless weirdly dressed gloomy monster soldiers put on their armor while the deep voice continued, the world will be his, the universe yours, and the humans, what can they do but burn, yeah? The elves let out a series of screams, are they all evil gods, there were more than one, according to legends that were passed down from ancient times, they could do nothing but wait for their death if such an evil god decided to attack them. The humans here are not powerful at all. Sala said, look at their commander, he doesn't even have the presence of a level 1 warrior, he's just an ordinary person. They are finished, this will be a horrifying catastrophe of the biggest scale. Do you think the humans on this earth will be wiped out? One elf asked, it was scary even just thinking about it. The system version of the movie didn't only make viewers feel like they were in the world, furthermore, the great power of the characters would be showcased in many ways, including the godlike presences, glances, and the horrifyingly huge force which could destroy all viewers with only a tiny part of it. Apart from all these, the most horrifying was the ability of easily controlling people's minds at will. Just imagine how horrifying it would be if your body and mind no longer belong to you. Woo, I don't want to watch it. Rolling, the elf girl standing beside Sala, almost wept. The other elves were not faring any better, their screams resonated in the tour group, and some elf girls even huddled together. Chapter 712, Something Doesn't Feel Right. Not only elves and orcs, but dwarves, human mages, assassins, and knights were also watching the new movie, they didn't quite understand what the movie was about, but they believed that all the products in this shop had top quality, therefore, the people watching the Avengers in the new shop included not only old players but many new customers, is this the movie that was said to have an evil god in it? In the new shop, there were some noble young ladies who loved night stories. One of them had wine-colored curly hair and was dressed in an aristocratic long dress, the badge she wore on her chest showed that she wasn't an ordinary noble lady since the stars rising from clouds engraved on the badge could be only seen among the royal members of the Morning Light Empire, the young men and women sitting around her were obviously also high ranked, this was their first visit here, yesterday, they heard everyone talking about the movie, today driven by curiosity, they each bought a membership and activated the Avengers. Now, they were watching Loki make his appearance. Ah! They instantly shrieked. They were so frightened by the scene that they almost wet their pants. Different from the players in the old shops, the newbies who had never watched such movies before almost went crazy. Just imagine the scenario in which a mortal stood before a real evil god who could frighten them with a tiny bit of his presence. The system had perfected each detail in the movie. According to the legends in this world, the gods were so scary that they could turn humans into ashes with a wave of their hands. This evil god, ah, ah. The talentless aristocrats who knew nothing but watching knights screamed as soon as they saw this evil god. Even some orcs swallowed their saliva with difficulty. The plot of the Avengers was quite simple. After the evil god Loki took the Tesseract with force, the S.H.I.E.L.D. organization planned to gather the superheroes to handle this mess. Although it was simple, this plot made the story easy to understand for the new customers who had never watched such movies before. Soon, the heroes made their appearances. This woman looks like an ordinary person. The audience watched and commented on Black Widow. But she's pretty. One orc with a lion head commented. But, what is the use of beauty when fighting against an evil god? Then, they saw the second superhero. This guy is also an ordinary person. The audience scrutinized the Hulk, who was in his human form. How come I don't sense any special abilities from them? He is even afraid of an handgun. 
Salad who had watched Resident Evil felt like she was going to die, this is the least powerful weapon, this Iron Man, looks to be an ordinary person too. Naively, the elves looked at Iron Man, who was in a strange armor suit. Ugh. His feet are spitting fire? The elves, orcs, and aristocrats watched in puzzlement as Iron Man shot into the sky above an extremely prosperous city like a shooting star. Under the nightly sky, the neon lights in the city flashed like starry lights, which were dizzying for the audience who were not familiar with this style of tall buildings. The night view of this city is breathtaking. Despite their fear for the evil god, the elves, fans of natural beauty, still enjoyed the night view. Then, they saw Captain America. This Captain America doesn't look powerful either. One orc commented with a muffled voice, can these humans defeat this evil god in a battle? Then, the viewers turned back to watching the evil god as he teleported and used all kinds of destructive spells that had been upgraded to a godly level by the system. They were impressed by his calm and unique air as if he had everything under control. A set of weirdly shaped armor appeared on Loki's body, and he stepped out with casual steps as if he was walking in a park but the people around him were so frightened that they scrambled to flee. Obviously, in the system version of the movie, the audience could better sense the horrifying godly pressure, without a fuss, all humans before him kneeled while shaking, they submitted to the terrifying power of this evil god, all viewers could feel this horrifying pressure, this. Can humans really battle with such an existence? Has this evil god recovered his godly power? I feel like he's getting stronger, is not this simpler? The audience in the new shop stood in the crowd as they watched Loki make his proud speech, is this not your natural state, it's the unspoken truth of humanity, that you crave subjugation, in the end, you'll always kneel, finally, an old man stood up shakily and said, not to men like you, Loki sneered, look to your elder, people. The scepter in Loki's hand condensed to destructive pale blue light, let him be an example. Then, the destructive light shot out like a bright blue beam of death. Ahaya, he'll die, he is going to die. The less brave elves and humans covered their heads with their arms when seeing this scary evil god. Boom. Ah. A timid elf removed her fingers from her eyes and saw the blue light being bounced back. Loki dropped to the ground and was silent for a long while, Captain America stood before the old man with a small round shield in his hand, then, a rocket like light beam flew down from the sky, two blinding light beams with great energy from the nuclear reactor shot from the center of two hands, make your move. When the horrifying evil god tried to move again, Iron Man stood before him. Yeah, eh, ah, uh, what's happening? isn't he an evil god? The audience who had been frozen in fear looked baffled, how come this plot feels fishy, this Captain America doesn't look powerful, but what's the trick with his dot shield, that Iron Man looks no different from an ordinary soldier apart from his metal armor, but, what were the light beams that instantly knocked down the evil god, I don't like it, in the movie, Captain America opened his mouth and spoke, what? Rock of Ages giving up so easily? Dot. Is this a scheme? Hearing their conversation, the audience became uneasy again. I also feel like things can't be this simple. They had seen the calmness of Loki, as if he had everything under control, even though he was captured by these humans. It seemed like everything was going as he had planned, and humans didn't have any power to resist the slow corrosion. This feeling even suffocated the orcs and dwarves, let alone the elves. This evil god must have given himself up on purpose, right? Elder Sewell stared at the scene before her and commented, This evil god is so cunning, I feel like he's brewing some horrifying scheme. Chapter 713 I thought I'd wet my pants in fear, but I ended up laughing like a pig, it must be. Dwarf Elder Sork had somehow joined the tour group, and he added, Oh, this must be the most cunning, evil, and powerful god that I've ever seen. Look. Even after he was captured by Thor, who is as powerful as him, he looks as if he had everything under control, 
Adolf said with a nod, he must have a plan, or he just has no regard for these humans who are extremely weak in his eyes. As the movie went on, the evil god Loki, who had been captured by Thor and the others, was put into a specially made cell by shield. The specially made glass around the cell couldn't be broken by any ordinary person, not even Loki who had obviously lost his strength again. However, everyone saw that Loki's power went beyond his physical strength, like a born demon. His words could always lure and bewitch people, even without using any force. He seemed to be able to lure anyone who had contact with him to work for him. For example, he was now luring Black Widow to step into his trap with words. At this moment, everyone in Mr. Fang's tour group was watching the scene. Is this love? In the cell, Loki's voice full of sins and degeneration sounded, luring Black Widow to open her heart and tell him her past. Oh! This horrifying evil god has control over someone important to her. So despicable. Watching this scene, the elves felt even more frightened. Pathetic. You serve liars and killers. Do you think you can wipe out all your sins? The evil god's voice grew even more vicious. I won't touch Barton, not until I make him kill you, slowly, intimately, in every way he knows you fear and when he'll wake just long enough to see his good work, and when he screams, I'll split his skull. Dot the words turn the atmosphere more and more suffocating, it's finished, I feel like this woman is going to break. At this moment, the pretty woman dressed in black body fitting clothes said, thank you for your cooperation, I know your plan now. Loki who was in the cell was at a loss for words. Uh, what's happening? Of course, this small incident didn't affect the main course, oh, look at this evil god, how come he still looks so confident? Dwarf Elder Sork exclaimed, my goodness. He got out, he actually got out, what do I see? He activated the horrifying tesseract, will the world come to its end? The pale blue light beam shot into the sky and opened a huge portal in space. From being captured to escaping to activating the Tesseract, this evil god seemed to have everything in his control. Countless spaceships from the alien dimension flew out of the pitch black space, shooting out destructive light beams and turning everything that they touched into ashes. Instantly, the buildings in the city were turned into shambles. This evil god is so calm. Will the humans in this world be destroyed? The horrifyingly huge metal beasts also crawled out from the wormhole in space. A wiggle of their giant, mountain-like bodies could knock down all the high buildings around them. He's chasing after Black Widow, my goodness. At this moment, Hawkeye Barton, another superhero, shot an arrow at Loki. It was dead on accurate, Loki couldn't dodge it. However, in the next moment, the powerful evil god caught the arrow in his hand. He looked down overbearingly with a smile of great self-confidence. Oh, I think this evil god is indeed powerful. Elder Sewell said in shock. Boom, the head of the arrow exploded, sending Loki flying. He was dazed by the explosion. Dot. It was absolutely silent. After a while, ha 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 ha. Wild laughter filled the whole internet cafe while a few orcs dropped to the ground with merriment. Enough. After breaking through the window and falling into a tall building, Loki looked at the Hulk who had chased him into the building, and this evil god now had a distorted expression. Enough, you are, all of you are beneath me, I am a god, you dull creatures, and I will not be bullied. Is the evil god going to use his true power now? Some noble ladies exclaimed. After all, in the stories of knights, the evil antagonists would always show their hidden cards after a temporary defeat. Then, they saw the green giant with unthinkable strength grabbing onto Loki's legs. Then, he smashed Loki against the floor repeatedly like a bat. Boom, 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 crack, crack, crack. He glanced at Loki, saw that the latter was still alive, and swung again. Loki slowly snapped back. He lay on the floor in a daze. Dot. All of the audience were at a loss for words. After a long while, they finally understood what happened and burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. 
The orcs slammed their fists on the floor. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Toink. Elder Sewell suddenly covered her mouth. Question mark. People seemed to hear a snorting sound from a pig. Exclamation mark. Everyone looked over. Not me. Not me. Elder Sewell's pretty face darkened. I didn't. Laugh. Ha ha ha. We thought we'd watch a super horrifying evil god and were prepared to be terrified, but you forced us to end up laughing like pigs. Are you sure you're not kidding me? Ah. Mr. Fang looked at the elves in confusion, I'm showing you a comedy, seeing you work hard playing games every day, I decided to give you some entertainment and relaxation, isn't it great, huh? The elves and orcs all froze, we thought we were watching a horror movie, you ruined our view of this world, elf girl Sala felt like her belly hurt since she laughed so much, and she rushed over and swung her little fists at Mr. Fang. How can we look at evil gods with proper fear after watching this? At this moment, the real battle had just begun. As mentioned before, Loki opened a spatial portal with the Tesseract. On the other side of the portal was an extremely huge spaceship floating in the endless space full of radiant stars, and the ship hovered in the space above Earth like a giant shadow. Chapter 714 A Simple Story About Heroes in the city which was gradually turning into ruin, viewers looked up and saw giant warships flying out from the huge hole in the sky. Even the soldiers of the lowest rank used the horrifying laser weapons which could pierce an entire skyscraper with blue light beams. The Chaitori claimed that they were part of the immune system of the universe with the job of destroying chaos and free will, which made them truly a nightmarish evil legion. They passed through the portal that was opened by the Tesseract which was taken by Loki, and they rushed into the sky above Earth continuously. With nimble bodies like fish, their spaceships looked like huge deep ocean whales that could soar in the sky. Each of these spaceships was as big as an aircraft carrier. The most terrifying thing was that these alien spaceships equipped with alien technologies were no longer ordinary spaceships in humans' imaginations. The fins of the spaceships cut open skyscrapers as if they were sharp knives cutting through tofu, and their huge tails knocked down countless buildings like dominoes. These weird spaceships looked like machines and life forms at the same time, and they turned the city into shambles like spatial giant beasts that were soaring in the sky, sitting in small flying boats like compact groups of locusts. Their soldiers butchered every living being that they saw with destructive laser beams like raindrops in a storm. The six superheroes stood below the portal. Obviously, this movie didn't follow the traditional way of expressing the storyline by putting the heroes at a disadvantage at the beginning. Instead, the movie showed the heroes' great powers in a humorous way. At this moment, the audience was amazed by the humans on this earth subconsciously. How come the humans on this earth are so powerful? Dwarf Eldis Orc asked loudly. There are several of them. They were amazed by the unthinkable power that Iron Man obtained from the reactor on his chest or Hulk's pure and horrifying physical strength that was greater than a god's. They had thought that Thor, who was a god, should be the main force of the Alliance, but now they found that each of the heroes was a main force. At this moment, the audience saw the heroes gathering again to deal with the present crisis together. Even the customers in the new shop in Kanglin City were thrilled by the movie. Meanwhile, they began to get extremely curious about the past and backgrounds of these heroes, wondering what had made them so powerful. At this moment, their fear for the evil god had vanished, and in its place was a combination of fear and curiosity that the modern people felt while they watched horror movies. Call it, cap, in the spatial void behind the portal. The mother ship that was many times larger than these spaceships stood in the deep darkness, sending more and more spaceships to Earth. All right, listen up, until we can close that portal up there, we're going to use containment. Patton, I want you on that roof, eye on everything, call out patterns and strays. Stark, you got the perimeter, anything gets more than three blocks out. You turn it back or you turn it to ash. After these orders were issued, it was Thor's turn. 
you got to try and bottleneck that portal, slow them down. As the climax of the movie came, the audience in the other world were enthralled. Hulk, with a deafening, furious roar, Hulk's huge body shattered the ground like a huge cannonball, then, he instantly grabbed the soldiers from one flying ship on the sky, the powerful light beams that these flying ships sent out couldn't even penetrate the green giant's skin, it seemed like nothing could block his huge force, everything including metal, rocks, and the spaceships carrying the Chitauri army was shattered by his huge iron fists. Thunderous clouds surged in the sky while many thunderbolts formed a huge destructive net, many thunderbolts that were as thick as buckets struck on the portal viciously under the control of Thor's hammer, exploding the huge spaceships that were just passing the portal in the blink of an eye, they turned into waves of fire clouds while many debris of the spaceship fell from the sky like shooting stars. The thunderous lights and flames in the sky looked like many radiant fireworks. On the other side, Hawkeye Barton shot out arrows, exploding the spaceships in the sky and turning them into fireballs. The blazing flames and lights shot across the city, making explosive and artistic destruction everywhere. This was absolutely a great visual feast for the eyes to enjoy. Wow! The elves, dwarves, and knights found that they were completely enthralled by scenes of the war, oh, oh. Holding a big bag of potato chips that she had bought in Xone, Jiangxi Oyu stuffed a big handful of potato chips into her mouth while she enjoyed the Avengers. Obviously, as a player from one of the old shops, she was calmer than the others but was still fascinated by this novel and humorous movie. To her surprise, another hand reached into the bag and grabbed a handful of potato chips. Xioyu, this original flavor isn't so good, why didn't you buy the cucumber flavor? Mr. Fang said while crunching on the potato chips. You are saying that it doesn't taste good after you finished eating. Jiang Xioyu was mad, you eat my potato chips every day. At this moment, the war came to the end. Although many Chitauri troops that had entered Earth through the portal had been destroyed, the mother ship in the void was still sending more spaceships down as if there was an endless supply. Like black clouds, more and more spaceships surrounded the Hulk and poured light beams onto him. Even the energy from the reactor couldn't last for long in such a big scaled war. Tony Stark, Iron Man found that his energy was low after destroying several Chitauri army's spaceships that looked like huge beasts. At this moment, the military activated the most horrifying weapon. A white missile flew toward the city with a long tail of exhaust flames like a rocket. It was a nightmare for both the humans and their enemies, produced by the technology much more advanced than that in the world where Fang Chi had lived before he traveled through space and time. This nuclear missile had much greater power, everyone, both the humans and their enemies, would be destroyed, seeing Iron Man getting close to the missile on his own and pushing it to change the trajectory before propelling it to the other side of the portal, the audience seemed to begin to understand what the word hero meant, perhaps it was a one way trip, which was a price that an ordinary person couldn't pay, from humor, to passion, and then to heroism, yes, this was a simple story about heroes, perhaps it was only a very simple movie about superheroes, but its simplicity had many benefits, at least everyone understood its humor, and while they laughed, they also understood the message the movie tried to convey, on the other side of the portal, the nuclear fusion turned the whole mothership into an ocean of fire, annihilating it in the void, yeah, this Iron Man isn't dead yet. The elves were pleasantly surprised while they watched the last scene of the movie. Chapter 715, Life Skills and Casual Players The evil god isn't as scary as we thought. After the movie, the viewers felt like this evil god Loki was quite entertaining. I thought I would be scared senseless by this movie. Elf girl Sala put down her virtual reality headset and began to talk about it excitedly with the elves around her. Such a weak god. Ha 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 ha. A big white deer joined their discussion. I feel like the part when he caught the arrow is the most interesting. A dog headed man joined them too. I wonder if there are more movies of this style. 
Some new customers asked while sitting down beside them, Sir. The elves looked at Mr. Fang expectantly. Probably not recently, Mr. Fang said, we'll soon have a new game, but not movies. A game? What new game? Even the assassins who were playing World of Warcraft in a zone quite far away walked over upon hearing this news. Having spent only two hours on the movie, the players still had lots of time left today. While the elves talked about the movie with Jiangxi Oyu and Little Bell in excitement, others entered the game and began today's exploration. Dot. By now, most of the players had reached levels over 50 in World of Warcraft, right now, the max level in World of Warcraft was level 60, after reaching the highest level, the players could choose to play different styles, including casual, PvE, or PvP, during leisure time, the players could go to the battlegrounds and improve their combat techniques, or they could try blacksmithing, enchanting, gathering, or even touring the world. On the window sills at the northeast corner of the shop, there were several pots of blue gladiolus orchids, the special plants that could only be found in the morning light empire, the dwarves and mages were sitting at computers near the flowers, a box of spicy sticks sat on mage Adolf's computer desk, and he had eaten more than half of the box while watching the movie, without thinking, he stuffed one into his mouth, elder sork, come and take a look at this blueprint, can you create it? Adolf asked with a scroll of recipes in his hand, some of us mages formed a group and looted this while you watched the movie, for dwarf elder sork, even though the artifact making techniques in the legend of sword and fairy four were inspiring, blacksmithing and alchemy were still his specialties, in world of warcraft, there were equipment that brought some classes great glories for one generation, and such god tier equipment could be obtained through blacksmithing, for example, the recipe for destiny that he was holding, as everyone knew, reaching the max level was only the beginning in world of warcraft, two max level players would have a great difference in strength if one of them was well equipped and the other was poorly equipped, as told by its name, destiny had tremendous power in the blade, and the player with this weapon would feel as if they could control their destiny, it was the first of the seven weapons in World of Warcraft that had legendary backgrounds. Elder Sork instantly widened his eyes. My goodness, what's this? While exclamation sounded, many people nearby also looked over and intensely stared at the purple epic two-handed longsword that could be made by blacksmiths. Elder, can you make this sword? Dwarf Warrior Ruff stuck out his hairy head and stared at the screen with envy in his eyes. Be patient, I'm doing the quest for the master blacksmith. Elder Sork looked smug, while he was chatting, he put down his virtual reality headset with his mouse cursor hovering on the recipe that he had traded from Adolf, I'm doing the quest named the art of the imbue, I don't think anyone in world of warcraft is faster than me, no. Dwarf Raff said, I meant, with this detailed blueprint, can you make it in your blacksmith workshop? He meant the workshop in the real world. This. Dwarf Elder Sork thought for a moment and said, I'm afraid that I can't do it until I've mastered all the blacksmith skills in this game. In other words, it's entirely possible. The art of the imbue, as was indicated by the name, was to inject magic energy into items. As a result, the equipment created in World of Warcraft had many powerful magic attributes. On the other side, Grand Mage Adolf was studying enchanting and alchemy with many other mages. Hiss, look at this healing potion, it can heal wounds in a flash. Adolf said, Dickers, I think we must study its creation process. Different from Diablo, one could find incomplete production methods of things in World of Warcraft due to the existence of professions. Dot. In a corner close to the entrance of the shop. The Golden Griffin Knights obviously didn't spend much time on discussion after watching the Avengers. Huh? After chatting with the elves for a while, Helen turned to look at Commander Elven's screen and found that he had gone to the Eastern Plagolands. Commander, what are you doing here? Some knights came over and watched him play. Yesterday, in the west of the Eastern Plagolands, 
I met an old knight who had been exiled for treason because he had saved an orc, Commander Elvin said, my guts told me that there are some secret stories in this place, I plan to do this quest, and it will give me lots of experience points, on his screen was an old paladin named Fordring, dot. In the lounge area, the elves were still talking about the Avengers that they had just finished watching, they were sitting on the couches in the lounge area in a circle, Elder Sewell was enjoying a mug of cappuccino casually, sitting across from her were a group of orcs who were talking animatedly, ding dong, Jiangxi Oyu's communication jade made a sound, and she took it out and chatted on it cheerfully, you guys all have this thing, you can use QQ on this thing as well, this communication jade is an updated version after we studied the cell phones shown in the shop's games. Jiangxi Oyu glanced at the elves, don't you have this, I remember there are cell phones in the new game and the movie Resident Evil, aren't they virtual objects? Elder Sewell said curiously, but you can open and study them, ah, we can open and study them. Elder Sewell looked astonished, then, then, the Avengers. Everyone looked over in astonishment. Didn't you know that? Jiangxi Oya looked at her in surprise, we can do it in all the games and movies, yeah, we always thought they are fake, obviously, the elves and mages had always thought that they could only practice combat techniques in the games. Chapter 716, don't be fooled by the trailer, this must be a funny game, sir, um, what's the new game? On the morning of the next day, the elves who had finally finished their animated discussions about the Avengers finally remembered the new game, doesn't it have a trailer, oh, aren't you guys going to return to your elf forest? Mr. Fang looked at the elves who came to the shop to play games every day, Elder. Little Sally glanced at Elder Sewell beside her and asked, didn't you say that you will apply for a teleportation array, was the application approved? Oh. Elder Sewell patted her forehead. Did you forget it? Elf girl Sala stared at her in suspicion. How is that possible? Elder Sewell rolled her eyes at Sala and said, Little girl, don't doubt your elder, do you think I'm a forgetful person? Elder Sewell said with great dignity, It's not a small issue to build a teleportation ray connecting the elf clan with another nation. I need to demonstrate many benefits that we can obtain here to the elder council. I've only collected a small part of the evidence, it's not enough yet, then, we must play some more games to get enough evidence? Sala asked cheerfully, what? What are you talking about? Elder Sewell's pretty face reddened, and then she said solemnly, I've sent a message to the Elder Council, telling them that the Elf Guard team that came out with me this time would obtain a huge leap in strength when we return, we're here to do hard cultivation we've been working so hard raiding instances and got such a fright from the so-called evil god, yes, we're here for hard cultivation, this girl is getting so unruly that she dares to tease me, an elder, then, elder Sewell said with a serious expression, cultivate hard, do you understand, you guys will protect sylvan moon forest in the future, okay, got it, that is better, satisfied, Elder Sewell turned to look at Mr. Fang and said, Sir, didn't you say that there would be a new mystical realm, how about it? Do you have a trailer, sir, which workshop made it? In their minds, the East Continent had many workshops which had made most of the games long ago, and that was why this shop could release new games faster and more frequently than the Dylan Workshop and Lava Workshop, of course. It must be noted that Mr. Fang's shop was popular only in this area and not as well known as the big workshops in other nations, after all. In the Royal Magic Union of the Morning Light Empire outside Kanglan City Dash. How come I always hear people sing high praise of the Blizzard workshop? A mage dressed in a black mage's robe complained. They keep saying that Blizzard is the best in the world, everything originates from Blizzard, seriously? they brag about it every day, I was a bit curious about this blizzard workshop, a blonde mage said while shaking his head, but I'm now tired of hearing their bragging, a bunch of morons, is blizzard their daddy or something, hey, who are you talking about, who else, 
the mages led by Dickers are the most enthusiastic supporters, they even claim that it is the most realistic and vastest mystical realm. Dot. This was pretty much the current situation. Dot. However, the new game clearly wasn't a product of Blizzard, it's Ubisoft this time, Mr. Fang said. Ubisoft? Assassin Elena had just walked into the shop, hearing the word Ubisoft, she strode over immediately. What was Ubisoft? It was their faith. Is it a sequel to Assassin's Creed? She asked excitedly. It's not a game in the Assassin series. Mr. Fang shook his head and said, Today, the trailer was released, you can watch it in the Super Theater. Then, when will the game be released? While looking for a seat, Elf Girl Salah asked casually, Um. While his face twitched, Mr. Fang glanced at the task on the system interface and said, It's not decided yet, is my mind very weak, why do I need to do special training? Mr. Fang looked disdainful, the system replied, If the host thinks he has a tough mind, why not begin the training immediately? No. Mr. Fang's face stiffed, to calm down his nerves. Mr. Fang went and made himself a bowl of instant noodles, so, the release date was still undecided, dot. Yeah, Xioyu, you guys are early. Seeing Xioyu and Little Bell were already online, the elves immediately sat down in the seats near to them, morning. Jiang Xioyu exited from the virtual reality mode and waved at the elves, Xioyu, do you want to eat some spicy dicks? Sala took out a box of spicy sticks with a smile, I bought a big box today, I do. As a foodie, Xioyu's eyes lit up at the mentioning of spicy sticks, then, you must say Sister Sala is the best, I like Sister Sala the most, well. Jiang Xioyu blushed, standing behind them with a bowl of instant noodles in his hands, Mr. Fang felt awkward feeling like Xioyu would be easily lured away by a spicy stick, expressionlessly, Mr. Fang instructed, interrupted, with a bowl of instant noodles in his hands, you can open Super Theater, it is the most eye-catching one on the top, oh, sir, are you sure that Ubisoft didn't release a new game of Assassin's Creed? Elena obviously was still thinking about Assassin's Creed, and she asked while opening Super Theater, Outlast? Elena froze, what game is this? Salah asked curiously while she gazed at the screen, it's a survival game, Mr. Fang explained, you can see it from the name, it's about escaping from a dangerous place, Mr. Fang's explanation was not even better than no explanation, isn't it simple? Elena looked confident, after all, she had escaped from the minions of the Judgment Godly Palace and the places full of traps many times even before she played Assassin's Creed, I'm good at this, but, it looks so gloomy. Little Belle only took one look of the trailer and immediately exited from virtual reality mode, covering its eyes with its hooves, on the screen was a desolate sand covered road leading to a nightmarish castle like building. As the camera entered the interior of the building, they saw dirty bloodstains in the gloomy ward-like rooms. The whole space felt suffocating and heavy. In the darkness, creepy figures would flash past occasionally. In some places, it was pitch black, and the players could only see things with the night vision function of the camera. Through the night vision of the camera, the world on the screen looked gray, which added more gloominess to the place. It's fine, Salah said, don't be fooled by the trailer, we were frightened by the evil god, but what happened, Humphrey? Salah said calmly, I think this must be a hilarious game. Chapter 717, Of Love and Family Many assassin players resonated with what Salah said. For example, assassin Harrison began to boast about his survival skills of his earlier life, after all, this game was named Outlast. I once got away from a level 9 master. Harrison said excitedly. Although he couldn't talk about his assassinations of the high level officials of the Judgment Godly Palace, this man could reveal some of his survival skills, 
I always took shelter in the filthy places since I was sure that those lofty people wouldn't even expect me to hide in those places in their dreams, hey! Beside him, another assassin reached over and covered his mouth, um, ha ha ha, anyway, we excel in this area. Harrison laughed heartily, after the reputation of assassins turned from that of a dirty job to a great profession, Harrison began to wonder about the imminent game named Outlast. Is it possible that these survival skills will also become great abilities? Elena rolled her eyes at Harry and then told the elves, Don't listen to him, I'm way better in this than him, I'm the best expert in fleeing elegantly from the most dangerous places and angering your enemies during the process. Really? Many members of the Snow Pigeon team were intrigued. If they could do some homework and get prepared before the release of the game named Outlast, they might be able to progress quickly after they entered the game, right? For example, these people had been wondering why New Snow, the girl who usually teamed with them in the game, and the Tauren with the ID Young Master Song and his buddies were so sharp, Salia was envious of them whenever she watched them play, and she thought that it was necessary to get some training in these skills, so she could show off her own abilities when they began playing out last. Should we go outside of the city and have a special training for Outlast this evening after we finish with World of Warcraft? Salah suggested, No problem. Elena said excitedly, I will teach you the secret to hiding your presence and magic energy in the body. Me too, I want to learn it too. A big white deer lifted its front hooves and yelled. This deer's teammates always said that it was dumb when they played games together if it could do some preparation and learn the advanced skill of hiding its presence and magic energy, it felt like it could lord over other players when it began playing out last. Dot. In a corner not far from them, some golden griffin knights were standing behind their commander and watching him play. Isn't this man just an old farmer, is he really one of the five paladins of the knights of the silver hand? Helen exclaimed while she watched the old man's self-narration on the screen. During the first war in World of Warcraft, to fight the invading orcs and deal with the fact that warriors couldn't heal themselves in battles, Archbishop Alonsus Fail decided to create a new class which combined the abilities of warriors and priests, Paladin, together with his disciples. He established the Knights of the Silver Hand and entrusted it to one of his apprentices, Uther the Lightbringer, this order later became the famous Silver Hand. In other words, the Silver Hand was the first paladin order in the world, naturally, the first five paladins at the beginning of the Silver Hand had special meaning for paladin players. Commander. You discovered such a great existence in the suburbs of the Eastern Plague Lands? One of the Golden Griffin Knights couldn't believe his eyes, is it real, an insignificant and dejected farmer living reclusively in the Eastern Plague Lands? Commander, how did you find him? Helen gasped in a low voice as if she had discovered a new world, subconsciously, she felt like the situation wasn't as simple as it looked, I got lost in the spider cave and then, I came here after walking through the cave. Commander Elven obviously was also puzzled. Let's see what else this paladin needs. Impatiently, they wanted to watch how this quest would continue. In fact, in the world where Fang Chi lived prior to his travel through space and time, players who hadn't played World of Warcraft would still know Tyrion Fordring if they had played a game named Hearthstone. Race does not dictate honor, human. Helen followed the route that Commander Elven mentioned and found this paladin as well. While you remain on my farmstead, I ask that you remember and respect this credo. I have known orcs who have been as honorable as the most noble of knights and humans who have been as vile as the most ruthless of scourge. But I shall not bore you with tales of my youth, there is much work to be done, if that is what you desire. Helen soon heard the instruction from this paladin. Obviously, this was a neutral quest that could be completed by both Alliance and Horde players. Of course, this man didn't trust the players at the beginning and didn't tell them some of the past events until these knights did some favors for this reclusive old man. The players got the remaining parts of the story from other people. Bit by bit, they finally put together the complete and special event in the past. I, 
Tyrion Fordring, was exiled for treason. This old man seemed to have returned to the past when he recalled the period where he was young and arrogant. Once, Fordring found a reclusive orc and fought him fiercely, then, the ruins of a nearby tower collapsed, and Fording, who had been engrossed in the battle, was caught off guard and buried in the debris. When Fordring woke up, he found himself lying in his own bed, and the captain of his guards told him that the rescue team found him unconscious on the back of his horse a few days ago. Fordring tried to recall what had happened and surprisingly realized that the person who had rescued him from the ruins must have been the orc. After he recovered, Fordring followed the clues in his memory and found the orc named Dietrich. The Alliance and Horde had always met each other with weapons, but at this moment, the two heroes appreciated each other and became friends. But soon, the Alliance found out the Orc's whereabouts. When Fordring got the news, the Orc had been brought to the city and was tortured inhumanely. Of course, Fordring couldn't stand back and watch, which was why he was sent to the court with the crime of treason. His wife and previous friends all tried to convince him to place all the blame on the Orc. Of course, this quest included more than listening to this old man's memories. The quest's name was of love and family. On one hand, Fordring did it to show respect to this Orc with great virtues. On the other hand, he wanted to set an example as a father. He hoped that his seven-year-old son would learn from his noble virtues instead of despicable behaviors. Chapter 718 Can't think of anything but fancy operations? Elves want to live stream their fierce fight in Outlast. Race does not dictate honor. People shouldn't make quick judgments about people different from them. This noble paladin wanted to set an example for his son with his actions and words. In the days following the trial, Fordring was stripped of the power of the holy light, not wanting his son to know that he was exiled, Fordring lied and said that he had died on the battleground, Tyrion Fordring had only secretly returned to his hometown when his son, Teelan, joined the Order of the Silver Hand, from the distance, he watched his son who had grown into a paladin, the fallen Prince Arthur's betrayed the honor of paladins and disbanded the Order of the Silver Hand after killing Uther, from then on, the Silver Hand was divided into several factions, and the major ones were the Brotherhood of Light, Argent Dawn, and Scarlet Crusade. Tyrion Fordring's son, Teal and Fordring, had also lost his faith, disillusioned. He became a puppet of the Scarlet Crusade. The main character of the quest was a great paladin, but during the quest, the Golden Griffin Knights clearly sensed a father's deep concern and expectation for his son which was common in any ordinary family, Teal and Fordring was a high lord of the Scarlet Crusade in Hearthgallan, from this position by the river, one could see the only road coming out from the Hearthgallan, standing by the river, this old paladin looked at the road from the distance every day, at this moment, Commander Elvn and other knights of the Golden Griffin Knight Legion who were watching the scene from behind felt something wrenching their hearts. Senior Fordring begged the players to help him wake up the honor and memories buried deep inside his son. In quests of forgotten memories and of lost honor, the players must find a toy battle hammer and an old battle flag respectively for Fordring. Thinking that his father had died, Teelan had buried the toy battle hammer together with his memories about his father. After the death of Uther, the leader of the Silver Hand, due to Uther's betrayal, Teelan thought that the Silver Hand had lost all its honor, which was why he joined the Scarlet Crusade. These two items signified his memories and honor. The last item was a painting of the Happy Fordring family where Senior Fordring stood with his wife and son. For this painting, I must go to Commander Elven read the quest introduction. Stratham? Ugh. Commander Elven froze. Commander. What's it? It was the next day when he came to this stage. Commander Elven froze for a second and said, 15 people instance. Still a trading stage. Ha. Huh. I only got halfway through the storyline, can't you let me finish the quest first? What happened after that? Did Senior Fordring save his son? Can't you let me get to the end of the story first? He almost passed out in a fury. Immediately. He sent a message to some old teammates such as the Gila Dickers, are you going to raid today? No. 
Dot. He was feeling very frustrated. Dot. Sir, when will you release Outlast? In the early morning, some elves skipped their way to the counter. Sally felt like her survival skills had greatly improved after the training. This time, I can finally show off some fancy skills in the game. After all, she had learned lots of stuff this time. For example, she learned how to conceal her presence from someone stronger than her, how to suddenly attack when she was cornered by chasing enemies, and how to find an opportunity to grab some important figures as hostages. She even learned some scouting and searching methods. Feeling well prepared, she was impatient to try the game. Outlast, I hope you guys won't be startled by my amazing skills, Salah thought smugly. It's not released yet, what's the hurry? Mr. Fang rolled his eyes at her, having never seen anyone so eager to play Outlast. I'm still dreading the training, you must at least wait until I finish my special training. Why not? Salah was impatient with waiting, tell me the exact date that you release it. I don't know, ah. She felt like doing beating Mr. Fang, she was finally ready, but the shop owner just wouldn't release the game. I plan to live stream my plays, then, I'll train for a few more days. Salah and her companions said huffily. Forget it. Elena said, should we go back and do some more practice? I just came up with an awesome idea. What idea? Salah asked curiously. The best survival skill is fighting back. Elena said excitedly, just think, since this game is produced by the Ubisoft Workshop, we can fight our way through it, use Musu, killing all your enemies is the best way to survive. Elena seemed to be proud of her smart idea, we'll stun them by our fierce combat techniques. Good, good. The elves almost jumped in joy when they heard this idea. How come you're so smart? Let's go, we'll practice for a few more days before we enter the game and use Musu. These people were planning to shock everyone. Sounds great. Elf Rowling said cheerfully, let's go and practice, we'll enter the game together and put our fierce battles on live stream, the scene would be magnificent. Elf girls such as Salah and Rowling could think of nothing but fancy operations. At this moment, Mr. Fang heard his communication jade making a beep and saw a message from Sutanji. Sir, Sutanji sent the emoji of a husky's cute face. I watched the trailer of Outlast and found the monsters in it are not very powerful. Do we really need to flee from such monsters? I'm surprised that you thought of this. What do you mean by surprised that I thought of this? I'm very smart, okay? Mr. Fang said after taking a moment to organize his thoughts, different from all the previous games, this game strips you of all methods of resistance, and the main character is an absolutely average person. Even the main characters in Resident Evil have physical conditions far superior than those of average people, so they are not truly average people. This is a game to cultivate players' minds and willpowers. Strips of all methods of resistance? For some unknown reason, Sudanji shivered. Chapter 719, A Lecture from Masters The players in the new shop were doing all kinds of preparations for the imminent release of Outlast and dreaming of doing all kinds of fancy plays. Cool breezes drifted across White Pigeon Square inches the evening, many people living in Candlin City liked to take a walk here after dinner, they would feed the pigeons or sit on the square, watching free spiritual spell visual projections, those were all good options. Occasionally, a couple of bards would play harps on the square, singing ancient poems, when people sometimes put coins in the standing baskets before them, they would smile back friendly. Some young people seemed to have gotten fatigued from frolicking and sat down on the benches on the square while laughing and chatting in joy. The two boys and one girl were three young people who regularly played games in Mr. Fang's shop. At this moment, these three looked toward the huge and clear visual projection on the square expectantly. What's today's projection about? I know. The blonde and young Ron said, of course, it is the secrets of mystical realms which is all the rage recently. Secrets of mystical realms was a professional and academic program which focused on the new emerging industry. 
Cultivation Mystical Realms The program Secrets of Mystical Realms usually showed the latest information about new mystical realms and talked about some new topics, which was why young people loved it so much. It seems like we're late. Ron said, has it been on for a while now? Number. I think today's Secrets of Mystical Realms started earlier. Dot. Allow me to introduce again. In the spiritual spell visual projection was an exquisitely decorated stage. The male host dressed in a black suit sat across from three people, and the person sitting in the outermost chair was a white-haired mage dressed in a white mage's robe and a pointy hat. This is the most influential and authoritative master auth, who is a special advisor of the Crystal Workshop, a workshop on the same level as the Dylan Workshop. He is also a special level instructor of the Dusk Cloud Mystical Realm Workshop Academy. The mage dressed in the white mage's robe stood up and waved at the audience. Awesome. These young people stared at this master with widened eyes. Sitting beside him was a middle-aged mage dressed in a dark grey mage's robe with a reagent bottle embroidered on the chest. This is Master Lywood, an honorable advisor in the Worldly Alchemist Union and he has achieved extremely high skills in the field of alchemy. At this moment, Mercenary Crete was also watching this spiritual spell visual projection and saw a stout middle-aged priest dressed in a red robe sit in the innermost seat on the screen. Isn't that people, that Mr. People of the Judgment Godly Palace? What are they talking about? Beside him, another mercenary had just arrived, and he asked curiously. I think they seem to be talking about this blizzard workshop. Crete listened for a while and said, the fame of World of Warcraft has spread so far out already. The things that Mr. Peeble has just mentioned such as negligence at work while watching the spiritual spell visual projection of World of Warcraft are quite common, so I won't dive into them again. On the spiritual spell visual projection, the mage in the white mage's robe said while gesturing with his hands. The purpose that we use mystical realms for is to obtain strength in a more efficient way, however, the mystical realm known as World of Warcraft, which was imported recently from the East Continent, has become a piece of entertainment, for example, people view the scenery and even tour all over the world in the realm, they have become fans of natural scenery and fans of stories, they are obsessed with the game and have neglected their work, at this moment, the elves who were enjoying the scenery in World of Warcraft and the Knights of the Golden Griffin Knight Legion who were engrossed in the plot of the quest of love and family sneezed repeatedly. Huh? One elf glanced around in confusion, who's talking about us? According to the research that I've done in recent years, 99% of the people obsessed in entertainment activities can achieve nothing in their lives, the master named Orth said. The remaining 1% could only obtain much fewer achievements than they were supposed to have. The mage dressed in the white mage's robe gestured and said, Obviously, the mystical realms from the East Continent workshops are going in this improper direction and are trying to influence our people with this bad style. I think our people must be wary of it. Master Orth said with great dignity. The male host nodded and lowered his eyes to glance at the paper in his hand. Interestingly, Another master has done similar research, about 50,000 people had been surveyed, these people had talents to be warriors or mages but also were frequently engaged in entertainment activities, it was found that only a few hundred out of the 50,000 people have obtained some achievements, the result is very close to that of Master Orth's research, the issue that Master Orth just mentioned is very severe, Master Lywood who had brown curly hair and was dressed in the alchemist's robe, said with a smile, but I think we must pay attention to another more severe problem, it exists in the legend of sword and fairy in the agency shop named Origins Internet Club, I wonder if you guys have heard of this mystical realm, the others looked baffled, which showed that this mystical realm was obviously not as famous as World of Warcraft, in this mystical realm. They say I control my destiny and not the heavens, I think it will severely mislead the people who cultivate in this mystical realm, more importantly, this mystical realm is a comprehensive one which consists of skills for people from beginners to level 9 masters, 
which is why I'm afraid that the young people will turn blindly arrogant after learning this idea. Master Lywood said with a sarcastic smile. Besides, I got the news yesterday that they made a god into an evil and funny clown in the Avengers which was newly released, it's blasphemy. The most important thing is that it has no academic ground to do so, as everyone knows, we must base our mystical realms on academic evidence since we use the mystical realms for cultivation, we can't allow these mystical realms to mislead people who enter them for cultivation. Chapter 720 playing World of Warcraft equals to treason, right? The male host said, we have gathered comments from many viewers lately, which is why we are taking some time from this program to talk about this issue, now, let's see what our audience say about this, ok, soon, a spiritual spell visual projection appeared between these master seats, on the visual projection was a big comment wall which looked quite like a magic letter, Let's look at the one on the top, the host read, it seems to come from a level 2 mage student from an academy, it's unbelievable, this blizzard workshop is despicable, ever since my roommate started using the mystical realm created by the blizzard workshop, he keeps bragging about it each day, saying that blizzard is the number one in the world, as if our current mystical realms are all garbage, I'm being harassed by him. I just love using the mystical realms of the crystal workshop, why should he mind my business, oh, ha ha. The host snickered, the roommate of this level 2 mage student sure is confident, he is saying that blizzard is the number one in the world, this young man is such a boastful person, if you encounter someone like this, you'd better ask your instructor to move you to another dorm room, this is the problem that I've mentioned before, master Orth said. The ideas in their mystical realms will turn these kids blindly arrogant, it's only a new mystical realm workshop, and people are already boasting it and saying that it is the number one in the world. I admit that this blizzard workshop must have a high position in the east continent, but it needs at least dozens of years to reach a high level in our continent. Ok, the host said with a nod, let's see the next message. I'm in a lousy mood. I argued with my lover the day before yesterday, and he said that he doesn't need a lover now that he has his games, go to hell, world of warcraft, go to hell, blizzard workshop, oh, ho ho. The host said while laughing, this is indeed a serious issue, but girl, just keep away from these people who can't appreciate you. Before he could finish, he saw the next message, today, I played the world of warcraft with my lover. It was so fun that I just couldn't stop, I feel like our love deepened during the process. Dot the host froze with the sudden urge of burning this couple to death. Ha 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 ha. The people who were watching the show on the White Pigeon Square burst into laughter. At this moment, Master Orth immediately continued, Poor people, they are oblivious to the fact that they have been eroded by this entertainment mystical realm. Did you notice that she used the word play? Oh, my son doesn't look right ever since he touched World of Warcraft, can you imagine, there are many good girls in the academy, but he claims that he wants to marry an orc girl, he even said that the deer in Origins Internet Club, that agency shop, is super cute, I hope you can help me, oh, what a poor mother, let's read the next message. The host continued to read. I'm a shop owner of an agency shop for a middle sized mystical realm workshop in the morning light empire, I'm going crazy lately, the big workshops like the Dylan workshop and lava workshop are fine, but smaller ones such as my shop have been getting less and less business lately, this foreign agency shop has driven us to despair, our customers say that our mystical realms are not good enough. But my goodness. How can our mystical realm workshop make better products if we can't make more money? The next message read, My companions and I have always believed in the god of radiant light judgment. But recently, one of them changed his faith to the holy light, my goodness, one of the citizens in our faithful nation changed his faith. At this moment, even Peeble, who was sitting next to Master Orth, opened his mouth. Peeble said, I think the other issues are not as severe as the one we're talking about right now. Right? Master Orth said, 
A master alchemist friend in my workplace once predicted that the foreign workshop's novel and fun methods of attracting customers would have a huge impact on the small to mid-size mystical realm workshops, the biggest impact is that these workshops might go bankrupt. As everyone knows, many nations provided aid to the mystical realm workshops in their territory, if this situation continues, these nations will lose lots of money. This is a disguised method of weakening their national power. In the faithful nations, the people all have their own ancient faiths, people said, if they changed their faiths one day, are they still citizens of those nations? Master Orth said loudly, therefore, playing the so-called world of Warcraft and the legend of sword and fairy is almost an act of treason. His, playing world of Warcraft equals to treason? The audience on the White Pigeon Square was stupefied. After listening to their conversation for a while, the audience found that this conclusion sounded logical. After the Dylan workshop's attempt to enter the Elf Clan, the Elves had learned their lesson and would occasionally watch the news about the mystical realms in the human world. At this moment, an old Elf was also watching this program with some middle aged and old Elves. The silver head and silver bearded old elf suddenly shook, and he blinked as if he was still dazed. Treason. One of our elders is taking a team to play this so called World of Warcraft. Does it mean. Dot. The sun gradually set, and a few returning birds flew across the darkening sky. The program on the spiritual spell visual projection at the White Pigeon Square finally ended. Of course, apart from the White Pigeon Square, there were many other broadcasting spots in other nations. At this moment, people walked out of the recording hall and warmly shook hands with the masters, your opinions are very valuable, it was a great decision to invite you guys to this program, Mr. Peeble, don't worry, Master Orth said, we are the most professional and authoritative names in this field. Master Orth has studied this area for dozens of years, before that, he had studied areas related to alchemy. Beside them, Master Lywood said with a smile. Master Lywood is not inferior, a while ago. He published the theory of gold and rock which caused a great sensation in the world of alchemy. Ha 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 ha. Dot. Meanwhile, the elves and knights in the shop were still oblivious of the comments claiming that playing games in Origins Internet Cafe was treason. The elves were standing around the counter with eagerness in their eyes, Sir, when will at last be released? Um. Mr. Fang touched his head, tomorrow. Maybe, Mr. Fang had been receiving devilish training from the system on and off, but, I can only say that I'm doing my best.